Hey you guys, welcome back to Creative Journey. I'm Amber and I'm excited about today's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to take printables that you buy on Etsy or you get in your Bible journaling groups or maybe you're creating yourself and showing you how to use them digitally. This is going to be a really fun tutorial so stay tuned and we're going to show you exactly how you can make this. Okay, so quickly. Last week, I got to be a part of a Dare to Draw retreat, which is all things digital. Jodit Williams is who put this on, and it was amazing. And through the retreat, Crossway was so kind to give away to all of the participants a digital scriptural, scripture journal. And so I'm going to be using that today and I'm going to just briefly show you what it looks like and then we're going to go on into using printables on this new digital Bible I've got. So up here on the left hand side of the screen you can go to your navigation and this is where all of the Old Testament and New Testament books sit. So you're able to just click it and it's going to take you directly to the book you're looking for. Today we're going to be Bible journaling Proverbs 15 15 so as a recap we're gonna go to the top we're gonna go and we're gonna click export this page and then we're gonna export this page as an image that's gonna take it over into procreate and it's gonna automatically send it and import it into procreate for you before we actually go into procreate when we download a printable from Etsy, typically it's in PDF format. So when you download that printable, you can open it in GoodNotes just like we've done with our Bibles and you're going to export the page, export it as an image, and move it into Procreate. You're going to want to do that with every page of the printable before we actually move over to Procreate. So in this example, there are four pages. There's our Bible page and there's three pages of this printable. We want to go ahead and export all four of them into Procreate before we actually open Procreate. This is just a little bit of a time saver for you. All right, now all four of our things have been imported into Procreate. So we're going to go to our first printable, open it up, and on the left hand side, click Selection Tool. You want to make sure it's automatic and then when you put that on you can scroll left to right if you keep your pencil on your page to get it where you want it. The black is what's going to be cut out. Now you can make this as detailed as you want. You can see here I'm taking out even more white areas that I would prefer not be in this printable. You don't have to do this but know whatever you see is black will be transparent when this process is done with. Everything's selected, so swipe three fingers down, cut. That is going to create just a transparent background. So let's swipe three fingers down and select copy all. Once we go over to our Bible page, swipe three fingers down and we're going to press paste. That has brought our Bible journaling printable with a transparent background over. So from here, let's go to the selection tool and go to freehand. You can trace out the object you're wanting to use. And once it's already selected through your tracing, you're going to swipe three fingers down, cut and paste. I'm going to speed this up for you, but I'm going to go ahead and go through the exact same process on all the images that I'm wanting to use. I'm just using the freehand tool and I'm selecting and I'm swipe in three fingers down and I'm copy and pasting them to make them in their own individual layers that is going to help me move. Now make sure when you're doing this that you are on the layer that the image is on otherwise it's going to say that the layer is empty. Alright, now it's time to start the process of moving things around and getting them where I want. This is where the fun happens. All right, go to your layers panel, turn off all of the extra pieces and select the layer that you want to begin with. I'm choosing to start with the llama. I love this little llama. Now you can move this around, resize it some, um, get it where you want it. Once you get it, 
you can go to the next area you want to start moving around and so you're gonna see as I speed this process up that I move things around and I'm not quite happy with it and I move it again and that's the great thing about digital journaling nothing is permanent and you can move it and erase it and redo it all you want without having to throw a bunch of product away or throw a bunch of paper away this is one of the great things about digital journaling is you just don't have the mess and the waste I love it for consideration of your time I'm gonna turn the rest of this into a process video this has taught you all of the things you need to know to use printables in Procreate to digital Bible journal. I cannot wait to see what you create. Please tag me. I would love, love, love to see your work. At the very end, I am going to show you how to export this back into GoodNotes. So stay tuned. There is a little bit more to learn. And if you haven't caught digital journaling part one and part two, you need to head over to the YouTube channel and find that. It has some really, really useful information. All right, our entry is now complete. So let's go to share, go to PDF best, and we are gonna export it back in to GoodNotes. Now, make sure this was an oopsie. You've gotta make sure you're on Bible page that your book of the Bible was in. Export it into that and there you have it from there I do always like to go to the very top and bookmark it because it's easier to find later but I love having this I love being able to go back and look at my work and I can't wait to see what you created so here's a final look at our Bible journaling entry we made today here at the YouTube channel of created journey follow us on Instagram make sure to like and subscribe we would love to hear if you have any questions or comments or if there's anything that you're wanting to learn, we can make a video for it. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.